Hello everybody, it's me, Jason Thomas, the Insect Hunter, and I'm doing a random spontaneous live stream. I'm up here in the mountains, up in Idaho. Let me show you how beautiful the view is. I'm up in the mountains, just got done with a nice, awesome camping trip. And I'm here in the mountains, and the hills are alive with the sound of cicadas. So here they are. Looky here. There's these really awesome cicadas that are here. And if you look very closely, they're black with some beautiful orange. And there are literally thousands of these things out here. So let me just go show you on some of these trees. I know that this is live and just really spontaneous. Everyone will probably do one of these if I'm just finding tons of insects. But if you just come here and look on these uh, trees. Uh, hey, hipster. Awesome. I'm glad you're able to be here. As you can see, there's just tons of these cicadas all over the place. And a little while ago, I think I actually saw a female. Here's a bunch of them up here. Let's see, is that the leaf I want? These cicadas are just all over the place. Um, over here on this tree, I was seeing even more. My wife keeps freaking out about these things just because they creep her out. There they are. Sorry, the focus is a little goofy. Is the stream coming in a little more clear? I'm on a different internet connection because I'm out here um, visiting some family and the internet is a lot faster from what I've seen. So hopefully it's a little bit faster for you guys for the live stream. I don't know how good the quality is, but I mean, just look at these guys. Um, according to my wife, they appear every year. I. I don't know that they do. They act like they come every year. Last year, I did not see a single one of these. Sorry. If I zoom in, the shakier it gets. I'm going to just zoom out. I'm um, just using my iPad for this. But a lot of cicadas, they won't come out for 13 years. Lots of years. They're just living for years in the feeding on the roots of the trees and stuff. I just love the colors on these things. Sorry. I'm getting really thrown off using an iPad because I'm like, it's taking the footage from one side versus uh, where it should be. I don't know if I'm going to find any Mormon crickets or not. I haven't seen any. I did see some on the road um, a while back. There's some more of the cicadas just all over the place. There are a few wasps coming to these old flowers here. I just love the colors on these guys. They're just so pretty. I love the orange and the black. And even in the wings, there's kind of like some orange and some black. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. They're just flying all over the place here. Literally just landing all over people. I've got, I've had like four or five just land on me. Anybody else, they'd probably just think these are a nuisance and this is annoying. But to me, I'm just like, yeah, I just, I've got to share the insect word with my friends out there and show them what I'm finding out here because these guys are awesome. Still not sure. I think a lot of these are just, uh, um, I think a lot of these are males out looking for females. Hey, Raymond. Um, I did see one that was a little bit bigger. I haven't seen it again um, over the last little bit. There's one on my hand. Their face really looks a lot like, a, almost like a, I don't know if you want to say a microphone, but it's very, got a lot of mustache on it. They're not the best flyers. They're kind of clumsy a little bit. But one of the main reasons, let me flip this back. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this stream, um, somebody said something about sweeping. You need to say that comment again. I was focused on talking rather than actually reading the comments. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to do this stream is because of something awesome that I found. So, um, if you look on my shirt, I have got a moth here. This is a sphingid moth, sphingidae or sphinx moth, moth or some sort of hummingbird moth. And I just found this guy. I'll show you guys where I found him. I love collecting up in the mountains because insects will often just land like on the sides of buildings and stuff, land on like walls and stuff. Um, like this, this guy was just sitting here, literally just sitting on this, uh, um, sitting on this pot here. He was just sitting on that, sorry. Um, 
So I got him. So I'm going to try and pick him up and see if he will cooperate for me. I'm going to move over to a different area where I've got a little better lighting. I don't know if I just have glare on my screen, but I'm kind of having a, a hard time seeing here really what's going on. I don't know that I'm going to be able to go sweep because all the stuff where I could sweep um, is quite a distance away from me. And I've got to try and stay connected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm just trying to stay here close to this cabin where I'm at. See here in the shade if that's a little better. Does that lighting look better? That looks better to me. Um, so I'm going to try and pick this guy up. We'll see how well this all goes. Um, I hope he doesn't fly off on me. Here he is right here. It's pretty calm right now. Um, he's probably a little bit cold. Oh, there we go. He's kind of perking up a little bit. If, if I can get him to open up his wings, you'll see he's got like these almost gold bands. I don't want to scare him away too much. It's just such a beautiful moth. He's very large. Very cool. So every once in a while, I will kind of put some of these streams together. If I'm finding something interesting and if I'm at Wi-Fi, which is just a rare occurrence. Today, I was on the Wi-Fi. This is the largest number of folks we've had on the stream before. 13 people. Wow. Maybe I need to do them on the weekends more. Um, we'll get more people on. Let me see if I can get him to open up his wings a little bit. Oh, there we go. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't want to lose him. There you guys. Okay, look here. Do you guys see? Oh, he's got away on me. He's actually just on the ground right here. Let's get a look and see if I can show you that abdomen. Look at the beautiful abdomen on this guy. He's got like these gold rings. It's just so awesome. So pretty. He's got the most drab and dull colors, but then he's got, you know, that abdomen. He's got those really awesome gold rings. So my guess is that uh, it's supposed to look really drab to be camouflaged and then it will open up its wings to try and attract a mate and show off those uh, show off those golden bands and really show it off. Hey bug realms. Sorry if I'm not saying hi to everybody. Um, trying to also focus on the insect here. This uh, beautiful hummingbird moth or sphinx moth. See if we can get even a little closer on those gold bands. Just beautiful. It's really awesome. Really just a beautiful, nice moth. I don't know if this species is common. I've never seen this species before. I'd think if I saw those golden rings, you know, that I would, um, I'd have seen it before. If it hasn't been named yet, then I think I'd call it the 12 days of Christmas moth for the five gold rings. Five golden rings. Beautiful. Oh, my wife's watching now and she's laughing at my singing, so whatever. Who cares? Um, I know I know it's a moth and not a butterfly. You know, I'm probably going to say this and it'll just sound stupid. I'm going to say it just looks like a moth to me. I mean, it's a nocturnal creature. It's got those darker colors. Um, kind of by its antennae and just the build of its body. I don't know. That's probably a lame answer for you. I can look up the technical way of telling. If you look on my finger there, you can see he's kind of shedding some scales. Yeah, it is a lot about the wings for sure. Like, I think it has to do um, with being able to fold their wings. Uh, butterflies, I believe, will fold their wings up above them. They can't fold them down like this, but moths can. And I think, uh, I think that's one of the big differences. Maybe someone can correct me, but let's look at his face. Just awesome. If anybody has any questions, you can ask a question. I might go look at the cicadas again here in a minute. Just a beautiful moth. Literally, if you just go to a cabin, you can just like look on the sides of the wall in the mornings and the moths will just land all over it um, because like porch lights and things will keep them warm during the night and then they can uh, really um, <clears throat> just rest there during the day or you know it's like a tree so for them it's just a safe place to be. I'm gonna put him back on my shirt. He has literally been sitting on my shirt for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna hand the camera here to my wife, a lovely wife helping me. He's mostly just been kind of sitting on my shirt here for quite a while today. I've had him here for about uh, 
probably had him. He's been sitting on my shirt for like a whole hour. Like he has not really moved. He folded up his wings earlier. He's kind of on the go now. I think he's getting warmer. Your body Maybe we'll give him a... Him. What? <laughs> what did you say? It's your body heat is warming him. Yeah, my heart has warmed him to be ready to go. You want to fly away, dude? Maybe not. I'll just see if he stays on here. Let's go take a look at the cicadas again. I guess if he starts climbing on my Oh, face. I'm I'm a bail for those. I don't know. Okay. Close. Oh, he's climbing on my neck now. I don't know where he's at. Where is he going? He's climbing on my head. Scared my wife away. Come on, dude. Oh look, here we go. He's my new little uh, earpiece or something. Nice little bow for my hair. <laughs> Anyways, this guy's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find any, uh, he's kind of fluttering his wings. I think maybe he's gonna take off. We'll just watch him for just a second here. While he's doing that, I'll just leave him on the camera and I'll see if I can find any more of the bigger cicadas because I saw one that was about three times the size of all the other ones. So I think that might've been a female. I don't know if it's, gone or what's going on here not too much is going on with the cicadas wow we had 13 people there for a minute i guess people don't really like moths or cicadas probably a lot of people they're just like oh these are super common who really cares um yeah so if you guys don't have any questions i'm probably going to wrap this up here if this guy doesn't take off on us Beautiful moth. Awesome. Um, but yeah, these are some mountain insects. I wish I could go out and do some sweeping. If you look, let me just show you kind of what the environment's like here. There's just a lot of like tall grass and stuff. And there are a lot of grasshoppers in here. Mormon crickets will show up sometimes, but there's a lot of sagebrush, um, tall grasses and things like that. Even up in there, there's a big river. Oh, sorry, uh, hipster. I have not seen any spiders today, um, if that's what you're referring to. If I did, they were just very small ones, insignificant ones. I guess uh, I probably saw a couple spiders in the flowers, but just little small things. Nothing uh, that really stands out in my mind. I do. I am seeing a couple dragonflies flying around. There is a river up there. There's like a creek up. Sorry. There's a creek up in there. That's what I was talking about, and. Uh, I'm going to probably do some river insects, a river insect collecting episode sometime here soon. But sorry, hipster, I didn't see any spiders. If I see a really cool spider sometime, I might just do a live stream just for that. But just wanted to show you guys these cicadas here. The longhorn beetle larvae is still, um, is still doing fine. Um, last time I checked, I need to start measuring it to see how see how long it is. Um, as for my stick insects, one of them actually did um, end up dying. I think I accidentally gave him some roses um, that had some pesticides on them. I didn't think it did, but I, after seeing them kind of uh, have some issues, I think I killed off the female, but I still got the male and he's doing fine at this point. Um, yeah, any area is an awesome area for doing a sweep, Raymond. Um, so. I think that's gonna wrap it up. I'm starting to get into the blabbering mode. Um, when we did uh, improv comedy, we called it verbal diarrhea. So I'm gonna stop now before I say something I shouldn't or just blabber on too much. So <laughs> anyways, you guys have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know uh, below in the comments if you guys liked this episode. Let me know how the quality was. I think the quality was better, hopefully, because I had a faster internet connection here but we will have to see. I'll let you guys tell me in the comments and subscribe so you guys can stay tuned next time for Big Adventures Start Small. Come on, take off dramatically for me. That would be an awesome end. Anyways, just gonna end putting this guy on my shirt. Thanks for watching. Glad you enjoyed the stream, everybody. You guys get to watch me try and find the end stream button. I can't even find that thing. See everybody. Thanks for watching.